Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that Paul and some of the followers of that day did a Nazarite vow. I was just looking through it. Yes. But what's interesting, and I, I never really realized it mm -hmm. in the book of Acts, approach, that in uh, verse or chapter 22, yes, and, uh, and it came to pass that as I made my journey was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven, yes, a great light round about me, and I fell unto the ground and heard the voice saying, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? <laughs> And uh, it looks like Saul was uh, giving his personal testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men, brethren, and fathers, hear, hear ye my defense, <laughs> which I make now unto you. Mm -hmm. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silent, and he saith, uh, I'm verily a man, which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, the city of Cilicia. Mm -hmm. Yet brought up in uh, this city at the feet of Gamaliel, mm -hmm, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward God, mm -hmm, as ye all are this day. Mm -hmm. Now in chapter 22, he's talking to a group of individuals, right? And then if I read, yes, mm -hmm, uh, elders and so on. No, oh, orator named Tartarus in chapter 24. Yeah. Um, hmm. and then there's chapter 26. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Hmm. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and, uh, hand and answered for himself, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all things whereof I am accused of the Jews. Yes. Now, especially uh, because I know thee to be an expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews, wherefore I beseech thee to hear me mm -hmm. patiently. Yeah. My manner of life from my youth, which was at first among mine own nation at Jerusalem, know all the Jews, uh -huh, which knew me from the beginning, if they would testify that after the most straightest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. And now I stand and am, and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto our fathers. Yes. Now, in verse 14, he gives the same testimony. Oh, and when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying, mm -hmm. In the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest me? Yeah, it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Pope. Seems that Saul kept... Um, kept giving the same testimony. Seemed like a normal individual, zealous for religion at that time. Yes. Now, I myself am happy. Chief of police. I'm an American citizen that was born in Auburn, Washington. Yes. I went to elementary school in Spokane, Washington, Jefferson Elementary. Yeah. Went to Sacagawea Junior High. Yeah. Went to Lewis and Clark High School. Oh. <laughs> I myself went to five different colleges. I went to Spokane Falls Community College, mm -hmm. Green River Community College, <laughs> Spokane Community College, mm -hmm. Hawaii Pacific uh, College at that time. Yes. And I graduated from Northwest University with a bachelor's degree in organizational management. I was zealous for God my whole life. Mm -hmm. No, I never really told anybody about it. <laughs> Just like Paul of his day. Yes. I spent most of my life studying revivals and those that are saints and any individual right now. But you didn't want to believe that. You said I was crazy for reading this Bible as much as I did. Po, po, po. You know, I found out something about these Old Testament vows where... You really shouldn't take a Nazarite vow. <laughs> See, something happened in the New Testament where <coughs> Christ decided that he would fulfill the Old Testament. And I'm one of those New Testament Christians. <coughs> now, I'm concerned that the judges, the sworn oaths, those that have vowed a vow, <coughs> they did not think that they could be held liable for what they had sworn. Yes. Let's say you're Supreme Court Justice. 
You're sitting there. Yeah. You know a forgery and fraud. Oh, and you thought, well, this guy, he's crazy. Mm. Am I really? Yeah. Is it crazy to read the Bible and believe that you can and cannot do some? Ouch. Well, I have, um, I have the availability of technology today. I can blind the eyes right now. Now, uh, to open their eyes, ouch, and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Yeah. Now, this was Paul's personal testimony about what Jesus had spoke to him at that time. Yes. And for some weird reason... <laughs> You decided that you would violate the laws of the United States. Listen, you stupid fuckers. Pouch. Uh, you need to open your eyes. Uh -huh. You need to turn from the darkness of the way. Yes. Because you're... <laughs>